good stuff. Nice to meet you. Good. Let's, uh, let's move on. Let's go to Tom Mitchell and Simon Ward. Bring us the final. We love you too, Robbie. Sevens is an expressive game. Sevens is a game of freedom, right? But when you've got that pressure of a head coach looking on and you're looking for those higher honours, easy, I imagine, to get caught up and to just tense up that little bit and suddenly not express yourself as much as you would maybe like to. Well, you absolutely nailed it. It's just a six-week wait between Gallagher Premiership matches here at King's Home, but it was very much worth the wait. It has been a 28-26 victory for the Cherry and Whites over Harlequins. That wasn't bad, everybody, was it? We've got the United Kingdom taking on uh, Ireland, represented by the Ramblin' Jesters. Both sides unbeaten, so this is not... If you're going to make a cup of tea this afternoon, don't do it now, for goodness sake. Let's get back up to our commentary team. Simon Ward, it is all yours. Thank you, Robbie. Just finally, you're a man who's played this sport at the highest level on that seven circuit. How does it compare today? Well, <laughs> it's not much different. We all know the challenge that, that England possess. They are, or well, they seem to be miles ahead of, of basically everyone in the world at the moment. Um, what is success on Saturday for you? We've also had an interesting situation, as always happens with these Sevens tournaments, is that throughout the day you've already played a few games, so is there ever a chance that teams will have worked you out? Because they will have seen quite a bit of you playing, so you've got, actually got to keep your game plan and your ideas quite fresh. Yeah, for sure. It's finished here at King's Home, 28 points to 26 for the Cherry and Whites. They are up to third in the Gallagher Premiership, and if you would like to be back here next year, which I think you would after that performance, 2023, 24 memberships are on sale now. Take a look at this. It feels like this was the tournament where the personalities were born and we actually had those kind of heroes that boys and girls growing up can look at. You go to a stadium or you go and watch PWR or whatever in the next couple of months and you see Ellie Kildun and you're like, oh my God, it's Ellie Kildun off the telly, off TikTok, off Instagram. Suddenly they're really born, these personalities, and I think that's lovely and I think that's like maybe a really big thing that's come out of this tournament, would you say?